Number three. This is the four Mission Impossible films. I have all four on DVD. And I'll start with the first one, Tom Cruise. This is a fun movie. This is a cool movie. Fun deck. It says, Go Machine, I Won't Quit. Peter Travis, Rolling Stone. Trade PD 13. Here's the disc. Yeah. Mission Impossible's good. I, I've seen this movie. It's really good. It's a pretty f fun movie. Also have Mission, Mission Impossible 2. Tom Cruise. Wide screen edition. Tom Cruise settles in a blast of thrills and suspense. Fear trials are on so. This is the other one. Mission Impossible 2, Pure Kinetic Adventure, Thumbs Up to Roger Ebert, and Ebert and Roper. Put, put your mind on cruise control and fasten your seatbelt. It says, you'll see the one America. Yeah. APD-13. All of these are APD-13. Disc 1 and Disc 2. Two disc edition. There's also a one disc edition of this. I got two discs. It's a good movie. I also have Mission Impossible 3. Tom Cruise, which is fun as well. Full screen. This came out in 2007. Mission Impossible 2 came out in 2003. And Mission Impossible, I believe, came out in 2000. I could be wrong. It's fine. But Mission Impossible 3. You pulled up, pulled, push your pulse right past the danger zone. So it's Peter Travis and Longstone. DVD a long time ago. Here's the disc. More in gray disc. I don't like the I don't like the gray discs. Yeah. And next up, this one's from 2011. And this one is Mission Impossible Ghost Protocol. This one's from 2011. It says best action movie of the year. Scott Messes Hollywood. The final fourth film. It's fine. Back. Thrilling, dizzling, amazing action. David German's K for us. And I got this DVD for my birthday of last year. Here's the boring gray disc once again. I wish Paramount would put more artwork on their discs. And this, they complete the mission. I already did. And Ultraviolet. Yeah, Mission Impossible Ghost Protocol is a really cool sequel. It's a really cool movie. So, that's it. That's my review of them. And thank you for, thank you for watching, guys.